In the last two lessons, we talked about how to convert from binary to decimal and back. This time around, we're going to talk about binary to hex. And this is far and away the simplest one. So we're going to do a couple of examples with these. Um, so converting between binary and hex, just because a hexadecimal digit converts nice and easily to four binary digits, there is a one-to-one -one mapping here. So we only need to follow the mapping you see on the center of your screen. So 0000 is 0, 0001 is 1, 0010 is 2, and if we keep going down, 1010 is A, 1110 is E, and we keep going until we reach F, which is our 1111, which in decimal is 15. So let's look at our example here. Again, we're going to use the same number that we started with. So that is our 75. So we're going to convert this binary 75 into hex. So if we look at our mapping, we look for 0, 1, 0, 0, which is 4. Oops, 4. And then we look at our mapping for 1, 0, 1, 1. So that is 1, 0, 1, 1 is B. So 75 in hex is 4B. Let's do another example. We're going to convert, and I'm just going to throw some random digits out there. 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0 from binary to hex. OK, so again, we're just going to do the one to one mapping. So if we do 1, 1, 0, 1, that is D. 0, 0, 0, 0 is 0. 1, 0, 1, 0, that's going to be A. And then 1100, zero, zero. let's look at our mapping, is C. Double check that. I didn't go cross-eyed. C, yes. So 1101000101 one, one, zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, and 1100 zero, zero converts to D, 0, A, C. So now let's do this the other way around. We're going to do convert. 64B from hex to binary. Again, just look. So if we look at our mapping, 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0. 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0. And B is 1, 0, 1, 1. One more time, we're going to convert 5FA2 from hex to binary. So 5 is 0, 1, 1, 0. F is 1, 1, 1, 1. A again is 1, 0, 1, 0. And 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is very easy. It shouldn't take you any time at all to do these. Just try to memorize the mapping from uh, binary to hex and back. And these will give you absolutely no trouble. So next time, we're going to talk about the big one. We're going to talk about how to convert from decimal to hex and back. This isn't going to be easy compared to the other ones, but it's not going to be nightmarishly difficult either. So tune in for that.